friends greetings for the day today we will be looking at the another aspect of uh, ms excel and today we'll be talking about the formulae or like something called as vlookup hlookup and what is lookup here now these options basically come under the tab of formula where you can see basically one of the block as lookup and reference altogether we have around 19 formulas of lookup and reference which basically try to help you to retrieve uh, something from the table. Now that something can be defined by you and there are some prerequisites to be taken care when you try to uh, extract some information from the table. Now these variants basically deal with extracting a desired information from the table or an array. Now what is that you will be looking at will be with respect to a unique input. Now that unique input is basically called as a lookup value where the lookup value deals with uh, the very first column of the table what you are looking at. So usually when you talk about the inventory system, you talk about the student database, you talk about any such information in form of a data table and you would like to in extract one of the particular information about that particular resource or particular entry. So you need to know the lookup value of that particular entry and then would try to specify the column in which your information lies and extract them there. So you will be having three formulas to assist you with these kind of concepts where you have one as VLOOKUP, the second as HLOOKUP and the third one as JUST LOOKUP. Now VLOOKUP basically stands for the vertical lookup here. The vertical lookup basically again goes with uh, the table which is vertically arranged upside down where the information is in column or column wise. Whereas when we try to use HLOOKUP where the data is horizontally aligned and uh, the information is mentioned row wise. So I'll be showing you the sample of it and you can very well differentiate between the two source of information. Whereas lookup is a specific one again which will just help you to retrieve by default one particular row or one particular column directly without specifying which row or which column does your information lies in. So let's start with it today and let's have a sample lookup here. Team, Here is a piece of information where I have some uh, data being collected as a sample data which is just a dummy, it does not have to do anything with any kind of realistic values. Here I have some of the cities where it's mentioned as the reference number like city 1, city 2, city 3, so on up till city 15. Whereas I, the second column I have here as the city name where the different cities you can see being listed. Following that, the language being spoken primarily in that particular city and a desired number of population in that particular city as an estimate you know it's all the sample data what you can just have it for learning the uh, lookup and references highlighting it here lookup and references can be found under the formula tab and lookup and references block where you see one of the formula is hlookup then you have lookup and vlookup basically all these entities are arranged in alphabetic order and uh, thus VLOOKUP comes the last. Now let us just start understanding how exactly VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and LOOKUP works for you. So assuming that this is a table where I have information about various cities, uh, the population in that city, the primary language spoken with a unique identification number for that particular city. Now what basically VLOOKUP is all about, VLOOKUP will help you to uh, retrieve certain entry about that particular city with respect to a unique identification number. Now team that's a mandatory thing for you to have a unique identity about each entry in your data table. If you do not have unique entity like ID or something related to it then it's quite complicated or difficult to get a VLOOKUP done. So the first and more foremost important thing would be having a unique identity reference. Second, 
you need to have an objective with you that what is that you're looking to retrieve from the table for that unique identity. So here we will be looking at multiple things as you can see here. I have some information where I'll be trying to show you based as the example. So let us try to retrieve a population of Kerala here which is in city 5 as the lookup value. Kerala being the city name, the language is Malayalam and the population is 2638. So let's try with VLOOKUP. So you just have to start any such formula with is equal to followed by the few letters of the formula and the Excel will basically suggest you that is this what you're looking at and you can say yes by pressing the tab button on the keyboard to select the formula. So team, you just press the tab to select the formula. Now here is a syntax which we need to follow to make this formula work. So the very first thing is the lookup value. The lookup value stands for the unique identity of that particular entry what you're looking at. So say for example, I'm looking at Kerala, so select city 5 cell, the cell containing the information, the unique identity. Press comma, comma will basically switch you between the syntax of the formula. The table array, so let us select this table, the whole table, what you have the information about. Now the reason we select the whole table is to assure the formula that this is what you have to look into, nothing beyond this. So it just makes it specific. So I have named this table as my data, so what was picked up automatically where you can also name the range as you know about it already. So go ahead with the column index number. Now yes team, that's unique about VLOOKUP where we say which column does your result lies in when within that particular table what you have selected. So within that particular table what you have selected is obviously it's the fourth column where the population lies. So let me mention four. Now comma there is also an option that is called as range lookup. Now are you looking for an approximate range or you're looking for an exact match? Now approximate match means uh, you will be looking for something which is the first instance of the entered value. For example, if I mention city 1, then I'll get the value of city 1 population. But when I mention city 10, then also I'll get the result of city 1 because city 1 is partially match of city 10 where city 1 0 so it will always return me the result of city 1 whenever I try anything with starting with number 1 so that's called as approximate match whereas when you want to go with the preciseness of the city what you're looking at then you must go with exact match then it returns you with the value of uh, city 1 or city 15 precisely so let us try with approximate match first and show you the problem what we face and then we'll come back to exact match. Now when it says in Excel as true or false, you basically go ahead with true as 1, false as 0. That's the binary operation. So say 1 and close the brackets and hit enter. Now what you can see is I'm having a value here called as 2638 which is the return value of Kerala which is here. So now, say for example, let me create a calculator which makes my job easier rather for you as well to understand what is VLOOKUP and so on. So let's create a formula here which will be having the city ID followed by the population and we may also look at the language here and let's try to insert the formula now. So what I'll be doing here is it's acting like a calculator for me where I'll be mentioning the identity number of city here in this cell and then we will be retrieving the population here and retrieving the language here by using VLOOKUP. So let's implement the formula first. So again is equal to VLOOKUP. The lookup value, select this cell, I'll be mentioning it here, comma, the table array as I have my table named as my data so I just have to mention that now that's the benefit of defining a name to the range comma the column index number the population lies in the fourth column of the table comma 
let's put it as true this time that is approximate match and see the variations so close the parenthesis and press enter now whenever excel shows na that stands for not applicable not applicable in the sense the formula contains any such information which is not defined by the user so yes we have a cell which is this one which is not yet having any kind of value so let us mention something as um, city 5 and see what's the result and city 5 is Kerala which is showing 2638 now what I mean by saying approximate match is this let's go for city 1 and the result is 2669 that's correct but let me go for city 13 and then hit enter I still showing me 2669 whereas city 13 has a population of 2638 now approximate match means the first instance which partially matches your lookup value will be returning the answer so it doesn't go till 13 basically so what we have to modify here is we just have to come to the formula bar and remove this one and make it as zero which stands for false that is exact match now obviously we have got it here press enter now you know the city value for 13 is 2638 let's try one more time with maybe city 15 and yes it's working fine let's do it one more time team and see how we look up works so we look up press a tab to select the formula lookup value lies here comma my table range named as my data comma the language lies in the third column of the table so put three here comma the true match so go with exact match that's false zero close the parenthesis and hit enter now you can see that the city 15 is having language as Bengali now let's try with city 11 and that's Patna where the language spoken is Bhojpuri so yes team this is what we basically have it in VLOOKUP where the sum of the things which would be important is the exact match and the approximate match where some of the people do not get the meaning or difference between them so this is how we can do it so let's try the same thing with HLOOKUP where we will be looking at the aspect of what is HLOOKUP and how does it work now HLOOKUP is simply the same table when it is horizontally aligned as you read the definition where it is important to have the information again with unique identity and the rest of the information so let's create a quick calculator which will be again to retrieve the information with respect to city ID or city number so I have here population and the language now let's try with HLOOKUP is equal to HLOOKUP select tab lookup value will be mentioned here comma the table array now I have not defined a table array for this so I'll be manually selecting it now you can understand the worth of creating a table name now when you create a table name obviously you can just type it there instead of selecting it every time you put the formula so comma now here the difference will be instead of column index number they will be asking you to enter the row index number in which your resultant cell or resultant information lies so for me the population is in the fourth column sorry fourth row here and put it as false that is exact match hit enter and let's put some city here so say uh, the here I'm using the representation as only numbers so six it is one two two three yeah that's fine so how to name a table team I can just quickly show you once again here so go ahead with select the table whatever you want to name it as click on the name manager under formula tab so click on name and just create it as new or you can just close it and click also as define name now just give a name to it like my horizont underscore h underscore data it is user defined so you can put whatever you want and say okay now it is defined so whenever you need it you just have to put that name so for example for language let's use that hlookup the lookup value is mentioned here 
comma my h data now press tab to select it so you can see that the whole table is highlighted that means it is selected and the language lies in the third row comma zero as being the exact match hit enter and you can see the language spoken in hyderabad is telugu let us try with one more thing here maybe three and you can see punjab it's punjabi i'm so sorry the third one is the kolkata and the spoken language is bengali where the population is 1448 now that's not a rocket science at all it's so simple to understand what's vlookup hlookup so we look up when your data is arranged horizontally and there are some prerequisites about these formulas like you must have the data arranged or sorted ascendingly plus the unique id must always be in the first column remember team the unique id must always be in the first column because by default this formula looks from the first column for the lookup value then we have another one which is called as just the lookup which will help you to retrieve a value by default being the last column. So what lookup basically deals with is when you try with any lookup value that is like city ID, it will automatically return the last column of the table as the result. The reason is here maybe you have complicated set of data where you have maybe 100 columns and 100 rows or maybe more. So when you have to by default get the last column result, you can just use lookup where you don't have to count the number of rows, number of columns and put the column index number or row index number. Now, usually an example can be where we talk about financial data sheets. All the totals will be always in the last column. So by default, it will return the last column as the total. So for those people who deal with financial data, set, data table and they just want the last column that is the total of any particular row, then they can just put the lookup value that is the ID, unique ID and then hit enter and it will automatically return you the last column that is lookup value. So let's see here is equal to lookup value, sorry just lookup. The lookup value will be specified say for example C, uh, city 4 and comma the table array so my data and there is no other vector to be defined if you wish you can go ahead but i don't need it let's just close this and hit enter you can see that it's returning me 2569 for the city 4. so team today we learned about what is vlookup what is hlookup and how these lookups can basically help us retrieve a specific piece of information from a big table or huge set of data. Now these information basically assist us to minimize our effort to retrieve a specific information from a number of rows, number of columns and it might be huge to be complicated or get complicated with certain set of data. So these formulas basically minimizes your effort at any point of time and helps you get the precise details subjected you know the formula and the syntax. Hope you enjoyed the video and definitely learned something new today. Do comment your queries, doubts, clarifications below so that I can get back to you with more details on the same and get it clarified. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel to get latest updates on the new videos about basic excels and advance. To get notified, do not forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you team for watching the video. Happy learning.